Yes, my friends, not a wobble in sight, look. Haven't even tied up the cables yet. This thing is absolutely shifting. And with the welds, it's very unlikely that the blades will have the same problem they had before. There's not even any wobble when it's turning, which I noticed before. I'd say it's 15, 20 mile an hour winds at the minute. Let's go have a quick look what the meter's saying. Yo, we're back in business. I'm just gonna record this for a couple of minutes while I go plug in the wind speed detector. Right, I'm going to leave this recording for a few minutes. See what we get. This display needs replacing because it's been used for a couple of years and now the numbers, you can see they're nice and bright on this one, but not so much on this one. When the wind's coming from a southerly direction, it's more accurate because the wind, to, the anemometer is more exposed. If the wind was coming from an easterly direction, then the anemometer is almost behind the house. So. I think it's good that I can say they're pretty fairly accurate readings. Bear in mind that the anemometer is at a lower height than the turbine, so therefore I'd expect it to be over 20 miles an hour at the turbine height. You can see we're getting some very nice power in. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be hitting 40. What I did, I tightened the chain up more than it would usually be because I thought, well, as soon as that's going to be very windy, we can err on the side of caution. Here comes a gust. Oh, I'm so over the moon with that. I'm literally over the moon. What has actually sorted out the wobble was I spent a lot of time making sure the drive shaft was perfectly centralised because I don't think it was before. Because when the turbine's on its side and I have to undo the bearings, they kind of slide down out of position almost. So I really believe that that one thing is going to make a hell of a lot of difference. Anyway, I'll leave this recording for a bit, my friends, but we're back in business for sure. my friends so keep your fingers crossed for Sunday it's going to be twice as windy as this Sweet. 